Multi-billionaire and Tesla stock investor Leo Cogwin says that he spent another billion dollars on Tesla stock and now he owns 26.5 million shares. That would put his total Tesla stock holdings at $5.1 billion. However, he is still not happy with Elon. He says that one, referring to Elon, willfully flooded the market rather than doing block sales. And because of that, Leo says Tesla stock dropped by about $60 per share or $180 billion in valuation. However, if you did buy more Tesla stock back in December or early January, then sure, you are happy. And on this here though, me and Leo, of course, agree Tesla is extremely undervalued. Therefore, I invest 100% only in Tesla and I don't buy other investment assets. In my opinion, Tesla stock is still way undervalued. And Leo has a point here. If we can buy a company that is the best company and the price is cheap, why should we buy other companies? But Leo is still... So not happy with Elon. Look at what he is saying here. Leo acknowledges that Elon Musk is a genius when it comes to creating and building companies. But he says Elon has a character that, that has some serious flaws. And this comparison, I certainly would not agree with this, that Elon is worse than the Wolf of Wall Street. And that movie, The Wolf of Wall Street, committed to serious crimes such as money laundering. I don't think, even if you think that maybe Elon did something, yeah, I don't, I don't think it would be nowhere near this bad. Now, Leo is specifically talking about greed, but I don't see anything wrong with Elon accepting this compensation proposal that was offered to him by the board, and Elon deserves it, I believe. The stock did go up a lot. Elon would have gotten exactly nothing if the stock would not have gone up so much. It was a bit surprising to see Leo tweet this today, though, because Tesla stock did okay. Often, we see tweets from Leo when Tesla crashes quite a bit in like a day or a week or so. Although today, it's really because of a market that Tesla stock went up mostly. But perhaps Leo just saw this tweet and maybe he just wanted everyone to still know that he still thinks Elon, mm -mm -mm, in his opinion, has not redeemed himself. And now let's get into today's Tesla stock news. We have Baird that reiterated an overweight rating and $252 for the price target on Tesla. Based on the last 12 months, this analyst is, I guess, not bad. He's in the top 1,000, roughly. And this is quite fascinating. He said, buy Tesla stock since a long time ago. But interestingly, he said, hold and don't buy anymore, but don't sell. During one of the best periods of Tesla ever, and he has been bullish ever since. Here's what they have to say. The year is still early, but we continue to like the setup of a stock and believe bias for estimate revisions is to the upside. But they said that they only expect 400 3,000 deliveries in the first quarter compared with a consensus estimate of 432,000. Now, I have seen this number to be different, actually. I saw Gary Black and Troy both say that the current consensus is 419,000. I guess it depends on where you get your estimate from, but yeah, that's roughly the range. Analysts estimate that downtime at Shanghai associated with the Lunar New Year led to 14,000 fewer vehicles produced than the reported target run rate of 80,000 in February and March. Baird estimates 1.7 million deliveries for the full year of 2023 versus a consensus estimate of 1.83 million and believes production is comfortably on track to reach the guidance of 1.8 million. I think they are way too conservative for the full year. And the 403,000 deliveries for the first quarter of this year, I think that's... Too low. Definitely too low, I think. Dylan also reported this 
I am not able to find this exact page on the website as the website seems to not be in English. So I assume this is translated already, but the message from Tesla says here, we need your help to accelerate the world transition to sustainable energy. Your car is on a boat and is expected to arrive on the 31st. So the last day of this month at the port of this city and delivery will take place directly from the port. And then Tesla is asking to reply with a yes or no. In the event that you say no, then your delivery may be paused until April or May. Tesla is going hard here, but also this does save some costs. Oh, actually, I did find the original article. It was published on March 24th. Okay, so people did have definitely enough notice to get ready if they do want to pick up the vehicle. Yeah, pretty interesting though. And it was translated from Swedish to English. So maybe the words, the actual words used were a little bit different, but yeah, seems about right. And we now have a new record in the little country of Norway. Remember how we just talked about how we are ahead of the previous quarter, but now not only are we ahead of where we were at this time last quarter, we actually already beat the last quarter and we still have a few days to go. If the big countries that do not report daily also have this similar data, we are in for a nice surprise. And what's interesting also is, remember, in Europe, often the first quarter is slow for the auto market. But now, this first quarter in Norway is better than the first two quarters of last year put together. Certainly bullish. It appears that Tesla is going to get another GigaPress. Idra is saying GigaPress safety doors securely packed in their case and ready for the transatlantic crossing. And this is a bit crazy, but Tesla actually holds nearly 50% market share in Norway. And I know you may ask, but if it's just the EV market share, it doesn't really matter much, right? But wrong in this case, because Norway, the EV adoption is super high. Almost every car in Norway is an EV. Now, of course, we have to remember that most of the deliveries happened in the last month in Norway this time. So... That certainly helps and it's not really sustainable, but still that's very impressive. And I found this tweet from Gary that says that the, S, that the consensus currently is 419,000. I would trust Gary's number more than the number from investing.com since Gary has access to the latest data. And his estimate is a little bit over the consensus. First, officially official this time deliveries of a model s and model x the refreshed ones now start in china look at these happy people this is quite interesting elon musk and a group of artificial intelligence experts and industry executives are calling for a six-month pause in training of systems more powerful than gpt4 they said in an open letter that's because of potential risks to they say society and humanity the letter was signed by more than 1,000 people, including Elon. They are specifically calling for safety protocols for such designs, and they do not want companies to just develop everything without being audited by independent experts. And rather obviously, Sam Altman, the person that is behind ChatGPT, was not among one of these 1,000 people, says Reuters. Although Elon says that this warning is probably going to be ignored, but he at least did his part, he basically says. A pause is probably not a bad idea, but I don't think we should just stop completely. Certainly not, because other countries that are our adversaries, I don't think they will stop, and if we stop, then they will get way ahead of us. But just a temporary pause, that's probably not a terrible idea. But I don't think, like Elon Musk said here himself, I don't think this will really go anywhere. I don't think anyone will do anything. Gary says that Lucid remains one of his favorite shorts despite the Saudi 60% ownership. And he thinks that the 18% layoff is probably due to demand issues. 
And this is actually crazy. You know how we talk about that this year Tesla Model Y is likely to become the world's best-selling vehicle? Well, yeah, in China, year to date, Model Y is number one best-selling vehicle in all of China. And this does include regular gas-powered vehicles as well. And there's a new video from Dirty Tesla. He's really excited about if his D-Beta version 11.3.3. I don't have mine yet, so that's a bummer. But I'll let you guys know how it is for me once I get it. But he seems pretty excited. He says that this downtown drive was one of the most impressive I have ever seen. And Elon responded to this tweet. She said, I left my teenager and another little one in the car to go into the store. The car instantly shut off and my oldest had to touch the screen to turn it back on. If an infant was left, the car would shut down. Can you all do something to detect people in the car and keep the temperature on? Elon says, Tesla car temperature is automatically kept within a safe range even when the car appears off in order to protect infants and pets. I actually did not know about that. That's interesting to know. That said, it would be more convenient to keep the car on for entertainment and comfort if the camera detects occupants. We will make that change. And this is the Tesla stock buying opportunity explained by Elon Musk. My name is Matt Post. Just like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.